All right, there's another video for 3HT, this time about algebra. We've done all of this before, but maybe you forgot a few things, so that's why uh, I wanted to repeat it this lesson. Here you can see all different things that um, we need to do with powers and letters. So the first one, it says a to the power of 3 plus a to the power of 3. Now, if the powers are the same, like over here, they can add them. So this will be 2 times a to the power of 3. Hopefully that sounds familiar. If the powers are different, here there's a 2, and there there's a 3, then you cannot add them. So if you have a to the power of 2 plus a to the power of 3, you can write down no answer. Or you can write down a squared plus a to the power of 3. The question is always simplify, and simplify means make as small as possible, and this is as small as possible as you can make it. Now times, if you have a squared times a to the power of 3, then you add the power, so you do 2 plus 3, so this is a to the power of 5. The reason for that is because here you have 2 a's and here you have 3 a's, so together you have 5 a's, so that's why you do a to the power of 5. a power to a power, however, then you do not uh, plus each other like the previous example, but here you do times each other, so this will be to the power of 6. And the reason for that is that this, these are 2 a's, but you have that 3 times. So you have 3 times 2 a's, so that's a to the power of 6. With the divided by, you have a to the power of 3, divided by a to the power of 2, then you do minus, so this is a to the power of 1. And to the power of 1 we never write down, so you can just write down a. So these are all the rules, so that's what you should know if you want to uh, make the exercises. Then let's go to a few examples. We have uh, 3a. We have a power divided by a power. So we just saw, you have to do minus then. So 8 minus 3 is 5. If you want to add two powers, then they must be the same. Well, here they are the same, because they're both a to the power of 6. So 5 plus 7 is 12. So 12a to the power of 6. Then here we have a power uh, yeah, in brackets, and then the power is there. So we have 5a to the power of 4. That means you have to do 5 to the power of 4. So you can calculate with that with your calculator, with that 625, and then we have a to the power of 4. And then the last one, this is all times. With times you can add these numbers. So you do 5 plus 8, that's 13, plus 4 is 17. So this is a to the power of 17. Thank you for watching.